So managed Penguin is a way to run Penguin nodes on your own, self-hosted, just like usual, but with the added advantage of being coordinated by the cloud. So the way this works is you'll run the same Pangolin stack as you did before on your VPS, and that'll connect back out to the cloud, and the cloud will coordinate things like DNS and fail over between all the instances. And uh, so for example, like if this node went down, all the sites and all the users would actually get switched over to the next closest node to that node. So it gives you high availability and it gives you load balancing between your in ingress to your network. So I'm going to show you super quick how to install a Pangolin managed node. It's going to look very similar to the typical Pangolin install. The first thing I'll do is come to the docs here, and we have this easy command to copy the installer. So I'll copy that command. And then I'll head over to my VPS, and I will run this. So this will download the installer. You can see it did that locally here, and I can run it. So it's going to ask for, um, make sure you have open the uh, 80 and 4.3 ports for the web traffic, and then the uh, UDP ports for the uh, WireGuard traffic, and that's going to ask the basic question here, do I want a cloud managed node? I'm going to say yes in this instance. It's going to ask if I already have credentials from the dashboard. I don't, so I'm going to say no, which is the default. And it's going to ask if uh, I have a public IP address. You have to have a public IP address for your Pangolin node um, or some way to route to it. So I do for this, but I do have it by a hind domain. Um, so that's okay. Uh, I'm going to put that in. And it's going to ask if it's IPv6 capable. I'm just going to say yes. So you can see after running the install here, it's actually reached out to the Penguin cloud and generated an ID and a secret that I can use to adopt it into the cloud. So what I'm going to do is copy this ID and this secret, and then I'm going to switch over to the Penguin dashboard. You can see here on the sidebar, there's a new tab called self-hosted nodes. So I'm going to actually add a self-hosted node, and because we've already generated credentials, I can adopt it here. So I'm going to put in that secret, I'm going to put in that ID, I'm going to adopt the node. So now the node is in my system, and I can actually adopt this node across multiple different orbs. So if you wanted to create one uh, or one exit node and share it with your friends, that's perfectly available. Um, so now the node is in the system, so I can actually switch back to the terminal and finish the installer. So I'll say yes, I did adopt my node. Do you want to install and start the containers? I'll say yes. Would you like to run the Pangolin as Docker Podman? I'll just do Docker. Now it's going to pull and start the containers just like it typically would in a normal Pangolin install. So let that run. And uh, what it's going to do after it starts up is it's actually going to reach out and connect to the Pangolin cloud. So there is actually a local database, but that database is just used for caching and other uh, information. It's not actually used, and the UI is not used on the local Pangolin instance. You're going to manage the whole thing through the cloud. So the advantage of that is that all the data is in the cloud. It's already highly available. You manage it in one place. You don't have to worry about database backups and managing things as we roll out new features. You will have to make, keep your Pangolin note up to date but um, all the back end stuff we'll, we will handle in the cloud. So now let's say installation complete. So great, we're done. If we come to the cloud again, we can refresh here. Uh, it'll take a second before it shows up online, but we can see that it's registered because it has registered that endpoint. So this node is reachable at p.fosrl.io. If we refresh again, it might take a second before it comes online. But now everything will just function just the same as normal Pangolin. So I can come here and create a site give it a name, we'll just call this test, and I can copy the newt ID, create that site, you can see that site's in the system, let's check on our node again, oh, still not quite online yet, but that should be okay. So if I switch back to the terminal, I can run this site, so I can create a new tab here on my local computer, run this newt site, so now this newt is actually connecting to the cloud, you can see the endpoint here is pangon.fasorial.io, this is actually talking to the cloud and using the coordination you can actually see which nodes it chooses to connect to. So right now, because I ran it and it hasn't uh, registered as online yet or self-hosted node, it actually shows this Jupyter node, which is actually our cloud. So let's uh, switch back to the dashboard and see if this node is online yet. So let's give it a, a second. Looks like it's not quite. There it goes. So now it's online. So now if we uh, switch back to the terminal and we start Newt again, should select our self-hosted node. Yep, so you can see the endpoint there is p.fosl.io. So now it's connected to the self-hosted node and not the cloud. So, but you can see there how if the self-hosted node dies, when Newt tries to reconnect, it'll select a cloud-hosted node, or it'll select another self-hosted managed node that you're managing. So now that the Newt is connected, I can just simply go back to the console and use Pangolin like I typically would. So I can go to this resource, and I already have a resource here, so I'll just edit this one, and I'll add a target here. So um, I know this is on the test site, 
So I'll say I know I have a service at localhost 8000. So I can add that target and I can scroll down and save. So now if I give it a second and I load, now I can see my local Nginx server and I can know for sure that this is actually going through my self-hosted node and not through the cloud because this newt is connected to that self-hosted node.